we had somehow ended up at a real upper-class party, for some reason. Benjamin and I sat at the bar, sipping our triple gin and tonics on the rocks. It was some kind of golf club or something. On the wall, there were pictures of the Rat Pack. You know, Frank Sinatra, Dean Martin, Sammy Davis Jr. Sammy had even been there once and had a dry martini. He was everybody's idol. I guess they thought we were some kind of rock stars, and that's why they didn't throw us out. Some smooth character named Steve came up and started talking to us. He just got his degree in plastic surgery and opened a practice. He had all kinds of new ideas and wanted to try them out on us. Benjamin thought it sounded exciting and had another triple G and T. His office was really luxurious. Dr. Steve showed us around. He didn't have any real clients yet. He said he was more at the profiling stage of his business. So Benjamin could get the operation for free. Dr. Steve took pictures of Benjamin and told us what he thought should be done. Cool, thought Benjamin, and lay down to be rearranged a bit. Since Benjamin was the clinic's first patient, Dr. Steve wanted to make the operation something of a special event. So he arranged a party at the club for the unveiling. Everybody was really anxious to see the results. The band played some smooth cocktail music. The spotlight came on, and Dr. Steve removed the bandage. And what a sight! The crowd gave a standing ovation. People couldn't believe their eyes. How do I look? asked Benjamin. Do, do I look good? Sammy's back. Sammy, sing us a song. Someone got the picture from the bar and compared the two. There was a hell of a resemblance. Benjamin was furious and didn't feel like singing. He didn't even know who Sammy Davis Jr. was 